Welcome to another tutorial on Python. Today we will learn how to install Python 3.14 on Windows. We will be installing Python 3.14 on Windows 10. So let's get started. Uh, visit python.org slash downloads and here you will find the latest version of Python. The current released version of Python is 3.13.0 and uh, Python 3.14 is also available but it is into the pre-release uh, status. To download the pre-release version of Python 3.14.0A1 October 15, 2024 uh, visit this page python.org slash downloads slash windows and here we have the link to download the pre-release version you can download it for um, uh, windows a uh, different uh, architecture so mine is uh, windows 64 so i will be clicking here So Python 3.14.0a1 is downloaded. I will click on the exe file and the installation is started. Now it is installing the Python 3.14.0a1. Python uh, Python 3.14 pre-release Python 3.14 pre-releases install successfully click on close open the terminal and type Python iPhone hyphen version now uh, since I am not able to see the Python here so I am going to run the installer again and it is asking to modify so modify click next add python to environment variables so i think after uh, adding the python to environment variables i will be able to access python from the terminal so it is done i have opened the terminal Now it is saying Python 3.14.0a1 is the version of the Python. So now uh, if we type Python, it is opening the Python terminal and you can see it is displaying the version 3.14.0a1. So let's see the few features of Python 3.14. So this is uh, you know this is a pre-release version and on the website you can see the documentation is in uh, progress and new feature is uh, deferred evaluation of annotations so for example if we run this code So it is uh, throwing error because this is undefined. So there are uh, many changes in Python uh, 3.14. Uh, for example, uh, there is an improved error messaging. So I'm going to create this uh, variables. So you can see uh, there are three variables, but I am uh, assigning the four 
values. So it is saying that too many values to unpack. Expected is three, but got four. So if I remove this, it is now working correctly. So there are other language changes. Map. The map built in now has optional keyword only strict flag like zip. And there are uh, new modules. So PDV, Pickle, PyDoc, SYM, Table, Sys, Unicode Data. And there are optimization on async IO, and these are the deprecated one, R parse, async IO, and uh, these things will be removed in Python 3.15. So as a developer, you should uh, be aware of these changes into the Python. I will make another tutorial on Python. 3.14 with more examples. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe our channel.